You ready? Did you go one, two, three instead of three, two, one? Yes. All right. Hi. Two Pisces review bourbon. Although tonight we have something kind of fun. We have a Canadian whiskey, which um, I don't know. Um, I'm not real for. I'm, I'm not real familiar with with Canadian whiskeys. I, I can't tell you that I've ever even maybe had another one before, or probably have. I just don't know. What Seagram Seven is that? What it is? I think it's Canadian. I think it's, that's what my dad used to drink. Seven Seven. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but that was it. So anyway, tonight we have to Pisces review Caribou Crossing. So I came across this today or this week. Um, and this is a Sazerac brand. So if you guys are familiar with Buffalo Trace, this is another one of their products. They're hard to find, hard to come by, um, but supposed to be tasty. So this is a, again, single barrel Canadian whiskey, 40% uh, um, alcohol by volume, 80 proof. So really low, that's like, um, that's like really low. So we're gonna, we're gonna pop this spot guy open, I believe. Man, this is like, you gotta, you gotta like break all the wax off to get this open. This is kind of raw. I thought, I thought maybe the blue would stay on there. So opening, it's fun. And a mess. All right, so I will tell you, I've never had this, never tried it. Um, I am a fan of most things uh, Buffalo Trace. I'm not a really big fan of Sazerac rye. I've had it a couple times. I have a bottle of it. Um, it's okay. It's I'm not a big fan of rye to begin with, so should be totally different. Um, I have been told that this is uh, the uh, Canadian version of Blanton's, right, with your little reindeer on the top. Okay. Oh man, there's, there's like wax like about to fall in the bottle. I'm gonna try and protect that. All right. So after 10 minutes of opening it making for a good video. We're gonna just uh, pour a little bit. Now, everything I have heard, other than the it's watered down, um, is really good about it. So, um, light, gentle, subtle, definitely, um, you know, the bourbon-esque flavors, smells. I don't know how they distinguish between bourbon. Actually, I used to think, I used to, I heard at some point, I don't think this is accurate anymore, but that bourbon came from Bourbon County, Kentucky. But I, obviously it comes from all over the place now. So I don't know what makes it. Okay. Um, there's some, a um, little bit of like, a little bit of that like alcohol medicine-ish almost like um, going back to the, the scotch, the peaty scotch, we have the, uh, the smell of my dad's dental office, the, uh, that, that smell, you have this almost medicine, like antiseptic, is what I'm, that's the word I'm looking for. Smell to it. I don't know, it's, um, it's interesting, it's not, it doesn't hit me as fantastic right off the bat. That's, that is very, very smooth, very tasteful, very, very, I mean, it's delicious, it's good, it's really good. Um, what flavors are there? The, the, the nose is a lot different than the taste. I get this like antiseptic, um, like Bactine <laughs> kind of smell on the nose. Taste is just really smooth, gentle, subtle. I don't have a lot of other words to describe it. Um, very nice, kind of, um, kind of spicy, a little spicy. The finish is spicy. Try this. Let me hear what, hear what Pisces number two has to say. Why am I number two? Well, because you're behind the camera. Because I'm number one. Fine, number one. <laughs> I like it. 
All right, there was a big instant smile. Not so much with the smell, the nose, but when she tasted it, it was like, oh, I like that, Ooh, right? Honey. Honey, okay. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah, I've, I've heard um, I've heard nothing but good things about it, except for it's a little watery. It's, and, um, it's definitely, oh, that's so, such a nice honey. Yeah. I don't know if I would waste it in your um, hot toddies, but uh, you know, okay. yeah. No, that's good. Um, finish a little, there's a little bit of bitter aftertaste to it. Um, Agree. A little bit of bitter, but it's- But not no, disappointing. It, it, no, not disappointing, not to where it like is bad, but um, yeah, Caribou Crossing. It's, um, it's a good one, worth trying. It goes on top shelf. Uh, it does go on the top shelf, although it will fit on the bottom shelf. Bottom shelves were shorter in our house. So, anyway, um, yeah. I don't know. Do we want to give it a rating? Remember when we started doing the ratings? Right. I forgot how you rate. I forgot, I forgot how I rated it, too. But I think we did, oh, we did 10 because it was a bourbon. But this isn't a bourbon, so we can't give it an instant 10. It's I like it. But you like it. I like it. So, um, let's give it a 10 because it comes in a bottle that was sealed. Perfect. Let's give it a, um, an extra seven because it's, it's really tasty. Yes. Um, and then maybe an extra point because it has the fun, fun thing on the top. You know, this almost becomes like... Oh, a bag. Bag deserves a point. Oh, the bag. Yeah, the bag's cool too. But like, and then you, then you lose the... Then you lose the pictures on the side. You lose all this stuff. Oh my god, so. it's twenty five already. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna say um, because it's such a low proof. I mean, it's easy to drink, so it'd be good for um, like somebody wanting to try bourbon that or try whiskeys or bourbons that aren't that isn't familiar with them. That it's gonna be an easy one for them to drink. Um, I hate to say Angel Envy and Basil Hayden, but it's kind of like a starter. It's that easy to drink for sure and low proof. So. Yeah, I don't know. At least, at least an 18. Final answer. All right. I'm going to uh, finish drinking this and enjoy the night. So over and out to Pisces Review Bourbon and Canadian Whiskey.